Hey guys, welcome back to For the Win Film Room. I'm Evan Thorpe. This is our lead NFL writer, Stephen Ruiz. And today we'll be looking at Ohio State's Dwayne Haskins and proving why he's one of the top quarterback prospects in this draft. So what are we going to be looking at first, Stephen? I think the biggest question with Haskins is, was his production a product of him being a great quarterback or Ohio State's system? That's usually the case with Ohio State. They're usually producing no matter who the quarterback is. But I'd argue that Haskins is on another level because he can still produce when defenses take that first option away, and that's what you want to see out of quarterbacks. And we're going to be taking a look at an example from the Purdue game, which was arguably his worst game of his college career. Ohio State got blown out. But we're going to see here what happens when Purdue takes away his first option. Here's the route concept. It's kind of a high-low concept on this zone defender who's working out to the flat. He's going to read. If he drops back, he's going to throw it to the flat. If he takes the flat, he's going to take this easy completion. But the defender actually does a pretty good job. He's playing in the middle of it where he doesn't really have an option either way. So he's going to have to move on to his next read, which is this guy working on a crossing route. And he does that as soon as he hits the back of his drop. You can see his eyes turn over here. What he sees is a linebacker in that, that throwing window. So what he knows he has to do is he's going to have to keep his eyes on that zone defender, hold him in place to keep this w little window he has right here open. And that's exactly what he does. You see he, his eyes are still straight down the field. His defender is reading his eyes. And he stops just enough to keep this window open and he runs into it and Haskins is kind of already anticipating the throw before it happens. And he throws an accurate ball and we got a first down. All right, so we see him basically going through his reads, figuring out where to go. Next up, we're gonna look at his footwork, especially under pressure. Yeah, and he didn't face a lot of pressure at Ohio State last year. But when he did, he showed an ability to maneuver the pocket. He's not Kyler Murray. He's not going to run away from defenders, but he's going to have to know how to slide and shuffle in the pocket to find space to make throws against pressure. And we see an example of that here. Purdue's going to send a, a blitz that's going to produce this free rusher, and Hatton's going to have to deal with that. He's reading this left side of the field, but he, this pressure is going to force him to move to his left and then kind of find step up and then find space. And he does all of that. You can see him, he finds that space right here, just enough space to make this throw while keeping his eyes downfield. And that's the key for me is how do you react to pressure in the pocket? Do you keep your eyes up or do you drop your eyes and look for avenues to run? If you're a pocket passer like Haskins is, you keep your eyes up and you find that receiver. And that's exactly what happens with this guy bearing down on him. He's gonna, he knows he has to take a hit, but his eyes are still downfield and he makes that throw to move the change and uh, keep his offense on the field. All right, last up we're going to look at is some pre-snap reads. We know a lot of guys coming out of college, they've been having their coach in their ear all the way up until the play is snapped. Mm -hmm. What is he doing right here? Yeah, so a lot of quarterbacks are just going to look to their sideline and get a signal from their coach and then make changes based on that. But while Hassins did do that at times, there were times when he was just on his own and he was making reads by himself, and we're going to see that here. He's worried. I think he's worried about a blitz. As we said, Purdue was sending blitzes at him, and he's mostly worried about how he's going to pick up those two guys so he's going to call out the mic. He's going to call out this guy as the mic, set his protection to the left. The line's going to slide this way, the center going this way. And then these two guys are going to work back to this side with his running back taking up any free runners. And what, what you'll see is that neither of these linebackers are going to come. It's actually going to be the cornerback from the top of the screen. And then Purdue's going to kind of drop into this cover three kind of look with the, these guys uh, manning the deep thirds and then four players underneath. And so Hastings is basically forced to adjust on the fly and that's exactly what he does. He, he realizes what the coverage is and knows how to attack it. He's gonna attack this guy right here who's kind of in between these two defenders. This guy's gonna work up the seam and this guy's gonna run an out route. So as long as he holds this defender in his spot, he knows that out route's gonna be open. So he keeps his eyes there. The defender never takes his out route and the throw's open. And then Hassens puts a little heat on it to make sure the corner doesn't make a play on it. And that's a good throw on third and eight to move the chains. All right, so you just released your mock draft a week ago. Mm -hmm. Where do you see Haskins falling in the draft? I have Haskins going to the Giants. I think that's the perfect fit for him. I think it's the perfect fit for the Giants just because they need a quarterback. And I think they need one that's ready to play right away. They can't take a chance on a guy like Kyler Murray. They already have the weapons in place to, you know, make a playoff push if they get production out of their quarterback. 
I think if they improve their line where Hassan doesn't have pressure in his face all the time and he can make throws to those guys like Odell Beckham, Saquon Barkley, Evan Ingram, I think he has a chance to win Rookie of the Year and the Giants could be a uh, playoff sleeper. Back-to-back -back Rookie of the Year for the Giants? It might be that way. All right, well, Giants fans, look forward to that. Next week, we'll be looking at Missouri quarterback Drew Locke. Thank you guys for watching.